pretty. Look at this. To the Bali vlog. I'm having my floating breakfast. There's nothing, honey. And it's a scrumptious spread of pancakes and bacon and fruits. It's very nice. So we took a 7 a.m. flight to Bali yesterday morning and then after we landed, uh, we checked into the villa. So this villa actually belongs to my friend, Steph. <laughs> and if you have not been to Bali, I suggest you come check out this villa because it's so, so aesthetically pretty. And I love it. We are currently in Changu and we kind of explored the area. I've never actually been to Changu, in all honesty. But they have like a lot of street shops here. Yeah, we kind of like took it chill yesterday. We had lunch at Penny Lane. Oh yes, we had, it's very very nice. The brunch food and it was honestly not that bad of a pricing. We had like three mains, two coffees for like 30 sing dollars. I feel like the prices have gone up but still not too bad. I don't know why I'm having sausages with peanut butter. Now you can sit here, you won't be in the vlog, don't worry. And after lunch, or rather brunch, I went shopping around the Changu area. Here the Changu area is quite big. There are like different spots like in the Bawara area, if it what it's called. It's also considered as Changu. And I went to this really nice shop called Monsieur Blonde, which I've been wanting to check out. And they sell like fine, not really fine jewelry. They sell jewelry pieces that are quite unique and like made here in Bali. And I got myself like a little wristlet if you can see I thought it was rather special to add to my stack there was this like necklace that I really like as well that comes in like a, a crystal diamante like lock pendant but I feel like I might get like sick and tired of it at some point so I didn't pick that one up but they also sell like lingerie stuff which is quite nice and then I also wanted to check out this like homeware store called like the other project but unfortunately they are like temporarily closed I'm not sure why but the stuff is still inside the shop <laughs> a bit upsetting but whatever and then we came back or rather I came back to the villa to chill because my boyfriend was like literally sleeping through the entire afternoon <laughs> which was great because like I get the shop on my own yeah, and then at night, we went for dinner at this place called Lulu Bistro. I specifically wanted to come here. I think it's like one of the newer restaurants and like up and coming. And the food is really nice. So I would suggest that you make a trip there if you have not been to like the Changu area. It's a rather new restaurant. So we ordered like a plate of roasted scallops for starters. And it came with like a Leone's like dumpling. 
and the sauce was really good and we also ordered the tiger prawn pasta it's really good i highly recommend it they come with like homemade pasta as well as like the beef uh which is like a bone in beef and it was so so good as well pricing was not the cheapest but it's definitely worth it if you're like thinking of going for like a nice fancy meal outside in Changu. and then after that we did a special kind of massage <laughs> which i might not put this in the vlog <laughs> but if you know what it is you can dm me about it and i'll tell you all about it <laughs> and then we came back to sleep so today we're just taking it chill i ordered like a closing breakfast for one because just just for the gram <laughs> you all see in the sun is it i come to you actually i feel like i need to spray myself also yeah i'm gonna spray myself okay spray me here you go ah! okay okay oh enough already Look at this pancake spread. We have some fruits, blueberries. These are like sausages, peanut butter, assortment of colorful pancakes, banana, bacon, kiwi, dragon fruit. I don't know what's this. What's this? I feel like it's peach. Oh, it's melon. And then we have like dragon fruit jam, Nutella, which everyone loves, and honey. And this really nice floating basket which is coming to you dear So we also go drag some coffee from Satu Satu which is quite near the villa actually You like it? That's okay We'll probably head up for another cup of coffee I really want to go to the revolver at Changu Because the last time I went to Bali I went to revolver at Saminya It was so good <laughs> So after this, we are heading out to go shopping for a while and then we are going to this beach club I can't remember what is it called What do you love? Beach club, beach club, okay? Beach club What is a beach club called? Is it Fins? Okay, I have no idea what is it called right now But I'll show you later And then, actually that's about the plans for tonight <laughs> I'm sticking it chill Catch you later!
Cause I'm doing better, life cannot be more gold day But honestly I won't lie, sometimes I ask why I can't get you out my head, now I don't forget that I Hey guys, welcome to the third day of Bali. I just got uh, another coffee. This is like the second cup of coffee. And it's from this cafe called Little Engine. It's pretty good. It's trying to educate my partner on what is a magic coffee. But anyway, I can't remember when was the last time I checked in with you. Was it yesterday? Oh, so yesterday we had a floating breakfast in the pool. Uh, we ordered in a floating breakfast. I think it's from the Bali kitchen, Bali floating kitchen. I'm not sure. I'm going to link it down below for you. You can actually order it through the villa and they will send it directly to the villa for you and assemble it in the villa itself. And yeah, it was just a really nice um, floating breakfast. Honestly, I just wanted it for the gram. Nothing else. It was not like crazily fantastic, but it was honestly just for Instagram. And then we kind of headed out to eat like a proper brunch. So we went to Revolver in Changu. I've actually visited Revolver like many years back when I was in Semin Yak. Um, they have one outlet in Semin Yak, and now I think they have like another one in Changu. I haven't been to Bali in a really long time, so I have no idea when that was up. But yeah, the coffee was still really good, and I. 
quite like the food. We ordered the tacos. I would say get the fish tacos. The fish tacos are so good. And I think we ordered a side of like mac and cheese as well just because I was craving mac and cheese. So the revolver in Changu is quite centrally located. Like it's in the middle of like different road bends. So you can get to it quite easily if you're just like anywhere in Changu itself. And then thereafter, we actually went uh, to walk around before catching a Gojek to Luna Beach Club. Luna Beach Club is actually quite new. I actually went to search like new and upcoming beach clubs in like Bali and they showed like Luna Beach Club, which I thought was really interesting. So the thing about this beach club is that it is quite new and like there aren't a lot of like developments around it. So I think our driver got like slightly lost. We were following the roads, but I think they blocked off some of the roads. So you can't really like follow Google Maps as well. To a certain extent, thankfully there are like, you know, like signs and like flags because I'm sure people get lost all the time to show you exactly how to get to Luna Beach Club. So we were just following the signs. I would highly suggest you just follow the signs instead of the Google Maps. And then when we got there, you can't actually drive all the way in as well. There is like a parking lot. So you have to alight there and actually take a buggy in. So that's what we did. Honestly, I think it's because the place is like governed by mafias so apparently like uh, they own the place so they don't really want like private gojeks or like vehicles to be going in so if you are going to rent like a scooter or like a gojek car I don't think you can drive all the way in as well you still have to park at the parking lot I'm not even sure if they allow you to park at the parking lot as a thing and then you have to take a buggy in so it was very reminiscent of like Tomorrowland because like you actually take a buggy in not that we took a buggy in Tomorrowland because that was for the people in the mansion but <laughs> it was somewhat similar I think like the decor itself and like the whole vibe of it is very Tomorrowland-esque so if you have been there it's like a smaller scale of it so I actually booked us like a private day bed and they gave us quite a good spot at the front you know like where the DJ booth is there is a minimum spending but honestly it's not that much either I think it was like about 120 sing or like a hundred dollars and you can actually use this hundred dollars as credit to buy drinks and buy food as well so I think it's extremely worth it if you want the vibe and you want the experience and ambiance but what I would suggest is maybe to get like beers <laughs> instead of like cocktails because I think they water down the cocktails quite a bit so that's something to bear in mind and then from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. there is like two for one so if you can wait till then then you can get your drinks later you actually get like a one for one deal on most or like some of the drinks I think some cocktails and some beers as well but I specifically wanted to go there around like 4 4 30 because I wanted to go before sunset so you can kind of like experience the place in daylight as well and then like watch the sunset because it faces the beach itself there's direct access to the beach although I think they cordon off like a part of it so I'm not sure um, I think probably dependent on the weather and the area and situation at that time but it was so fun you can just walk around there is like a really nice restaurant and there is like an under cave like pool club as well where you can like take a slide and then like slide into the club so that was really really fun there were also like a lot of children there there's like a children's pool as well so if you're thinking about whether or not it's like family friendly I think technically it is we've seen a lot of kids there like dancing as well in front of the DJ booth <laughs> it's quite amazing and then I think the sunset was nice like when the night falls the DJ booth has lights as well like LED lights uh, no fireworks but a lot of lights so it's just very chill and very vibey so if that's your kind of thing I would suggest that you give Luna Beach Club a go I think food wise it's also pretty good so yes I think highly worth checking out so getting out of Luna Beach Club as well I would suggest that you grab a Gojek and like there is a particular spot that you need to kind of map it to I think it's the Nua Nu Gate or something like that you can ask the concierge people at the Luna Beach Club itself and then 
when the Gojek is quite near the parking lot, then you take the buggy out so that you don't have to wait in the parking spot. Apparently, they say it was really but there was a lot of lights. It wasn't like it wasn't a big deal to be very honest. But yeah, getting there and getting out there is like a challenge for now because there isn't a lot of development in the area. And then this morning we decided to go to Milk and Madu in Changu for brunch. There was live music like today is Sunday, so I'm not sure if it's just Sunday that they have like live music, but it was really nice and the food was quite good as well. Um, and then we just went to walk around in the area and check out some shops. I actually walked into this shop called uh, something something Pascal. <laughs> It's like a designer fashion brand here and we actually picked up some stuff which I'm going to show you in this little bag over here so this is by Vintage Century I actually walked into their shop yesterday trying to get this dress because I really liked it but because the seams were like kind of like coming out the lady didn't want to sell me like something that was not perfect I guess so this is how the dress looks like. It's essentially like a linen blend dress which I really really like it. It's not the cheapest item I would say. It was like almost like 150 I think sing dollars but I feel like I'll get a lot of wear of this very casual as well. Honey there is like a camera so just say. And then right beside it there is also like a Aviana store. So I grabbed two pairs of Javianas, one, <laughs> one from myself and one for my best friend. So I got a rose gold pair again because like somehow the sizing is just a little bit strange. I'm 37 and 38 but some of the 37 to 38 that I try are like too loose or too tight so only this one really fits. So if you get two pairs, I think they are 20% off. So I decided to pick one up as well. And yes, and then I also popped by this store called Fisha. Um, they basically sell like, uh, what do you call it? Like Aesop smelling like stuff. And I picked up like a body cleanser. So even the bottle looks very Aesop-ish. This is the Petite Sandalwood, Petite Grain Sandalwood Geranium Hydrating Body Cleanser and it smells really really good. Yeah, really like it so can't wait to use this. This is by Isha Lab. I'm going to link everything down below so that if you're ever in Bali you can definitely check them out. And then yesterday I actually got this pair of like Bottega looking as like earrings and it was really nice and they say that it's like of stainless steel and it won't rust i honestly am a bit skeptical about that <laughs> but you know why not just give it a go i really like how it looks i feel like it's quite lightweight and quite substantial itself so it's nice so i got that as well and i think that's all i got so i really like this bag as well it's like a cute bag although my boyfriend kind of like spilled coffee on it so there's like coffee stains on it right now but it's okay Right now, we're just going to chill in the villa itself and then tonight, we're going to go to a massage like a spa at Body Works in Semin Yak. We haven't been to the Semin Yak area and then we're going to uh, go to Motel Mexicola in Semin Yak for dinner. There is actually also a Motel Mexicola in Changu uh, which I think I maybe should have booked instead but because Body Works is only available at Seminyak so I thought you know why not just go to the Seminyak one because like this is his first time in like Bali which is a little bit strange because like most people visit Bali but anyways so we are going to go there tonight and yeah I'm just gonna chill in this villa I'm not sure if I've already shown you the villa but maybe I can you know do a quick villa tour for you so if I've not mentioned this villa is by my friend she actually designed this space I'm so proud of her so picturesque I'm gonna leave her link down below as well I believe it's on booking.com already so you can definitely check it out so I'm just gonna do a very quick um, villa tour so this is the front door that you come through 
so okay it's locked at the moment and then there is like a flamingo here <laughs> there is a flamingo here and then this is the walk-in area those are our shoes and then you have like a study sort of desk situation here where you can do your work although honestly i just prefer doing work on the island and then there is a full-size mirror here i think there's someone outside and then there's a full-size mirror here where you can like check out your outfit before you head out and then here is like a guest bathroom so really nice which we rarely use anyway <laughs> Uh, and then this is the kitchen there is like a fridge where you can place your items we bought like a couple of eggs for indomie and then like lime for oh my god I need to eat this and then lime for our drinks and I don't think this should be in the fridge oh my god and then the hurry bowls which I'm eating now and some coke and then there is also like a freezer here I was being a little bit extra because of Bali Bali and all that so I actually bought my own ice tray <laughs> which I need to remember to bring back and they also have like filtered water here so you don't have to worry too much because everyone is just like concerned about the whole water situation in Bali right now so if you don't know there is like a Bali belly thing going around and I didn't know that until like I told people I'm coming to Bali so just suggest that you don't drink water from the tap so definitely drink bottled water or like you need to boil the water somehow yeah so I'm just trying to take precautions because I don't want to fall sick and then there is like a sink situation over here a microwave there is even like an oven if you need to like bake anything although I really doubt it and then like a stove top and you also have like all your cutleries that you ever need and bowls and like cups etc and like condiments so you don't have to get yours and then the little bin over here and some kitchen towels etc coasters oh you have coasters and then like also like little candles and tissues etc so very nice and then we come through here and there's like a living area which is very nice if you are like in a group and you just want to chill over here we can't even turn on the tv because like we just can't be bothered and i just really really like the look of this oh my god there's a fly flying everywhere i like the lamps as well very very pretty and just the whole vibe of it all and then you can come through this area where you see the really really nice pool ah. there you go there's the pool over here and then there's also like a nice sitting nook over here where it's very nice you can turn on the lights at night and it's just a really like nice spot to just chill in and the pool is so so inviting i may need to get in again like once more before i actually check out of this place tomorrow and then there is like a second bedroom so it's meant for like two couples i guess if you can call it that so there's two separate bedrooms and then that door kind of that leads out into i think the driveway if i'm not wrong yeah kind of leads out into the driveway area so you can keep that locked we are not using this room so i told her that you know just leave it untouched we're not going to touch it anyway so that they have less housekeeping to do and yeah it's just nice and they also have like a bathroom here so slightly smaller than the master bedroom one but the mirror is still so pretty and large like a round s mirror and then there is also like a shower head and just really really nice as well so that's the other bathroom so i'm just gonna 
show you the master bedroom as well which is a little bit messy because we have been like sleeping in it I guess the only thing that I can say is that there is some construction going on here just so you know so <laughs> yesterday when we checked in we saw like two guys just standing up there so you have to be mindful about that but there is actually like a camera like I think she installed a camera to so just like be wary about security in case like people jump over or anything and then there's like another camera over there as well so yes there is this door that leads into the master as well so you can just come through there you don't have to go through the main living area but let's just go from here okay we have the master bed over here i'm redoing this clip and we brought in the marshall speaker from outside because we want to listen to music in the room and there are also like cupboards here where you can hang your clothes up i guess and a yoga mat in case you need to use a yoga mat and then we come through here there is the master toilet which is so pretty there is a toilet over here and a huge huge mirror which i really love looking at myself in and then a tub which we have not made use of but we will make use of it tonight i guess and as well as like a really just nice big shower so this is like my favorite spot in the entire villa it's a little bit messy right now but you can see the photos it's very pretty and yeah that's about it i guess and there is like this swatter here that i've been swatting flies with let's just pick it up and move it somewhere so i guess that's about it and i'll see you tonight when we go to Body Works and Mucha Mexico la. morning we are having bagels with bacon and egg and I have no idea what's this I think it's a ham and cheese toast and some scrambled eggs that we fried up and coffee today I have flat white so I just got latte okay we're now having breakfast and about to check out just waiting for the driver to pick us up to go to the airport it was raining this morning so we couldn't go out to have brunch so i just go jack in got some bagels anyway i show you night i can't remember what i mentioned but we went to body works which was this really nice like spa looking place it was so and like instagrammable and the lady just really wrap up the knots in my back because i had like a tension really massage so it was really really nice and you can actually book a room and like ask and request for you and your partner to be in the same room so that a therapist can work on you and then after that we took a stroll to a motel maxi cola i think the last time i was there I was there for charlotte's wedding 
I'm sorry if you can't hear me with all the construction going on. And it was still the same kind of vibe, very fun. Uh, a lot of like Caucasians there dancing. <laughs> and the food was still really really good. And then thank god we came back like study earlier because I like, started pouring my mat. By the time it started pouring, we were already in the villa itself. So that's great. And then this morning it poured again. So yeah, we're just heading to the airport now. They actually switched our flight from like Scoot to SQ. I mean, I guess you can call it an upgrade of some sort. But that's only because Scoot was overbooked by like 20 packs. So they moved us to the SQ flight, which was like an hour earlier, which is fine, I think. So yes, we're heading to the airport now. We head home. It's been a really, really fun trip. I hope you enjoyed the vlog clips in this vlog itself and to see you soon!